Hit the record button. Got it. Guys, I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to be 100% authentic, straight through. Let's do this because I don't like fake stuff. Beep. Uh, in my garage, for people that know me, this is David from Gorilla Strength. Uh, for people who know me, they know who I started out, where I started out, and that's in a wooden shed outside my house. And uh, you know, all right, I won't go any more on that one. Uh, a lot of sentiment, a lot of things in there, a lot of gratitude that I feel toward people that are on Reddit, uh, people that have helped me along my way. Anyway, let me take you around the shop and what I'm doing. I want to, in my shop, in my garage, I have equipment to build stuff for you in your garage. If you like to work out, it's like a marriage made in heaven. We both have things that we both mutually need to support each other. So let me introduce you guys to some of my friends. Okay? This guy right here is He-Man. He's a 100 ton iron worker. That's 200 pound, 200,000 pound iron worker. This dude right here, he makes a lot of stuff for us. Okay, he was one of the, uh, he was one of the things that really changed the way that I was building a lot of stuff. Iron workers are cool. Over here, this guy right here, this is Firestarter. This is the first welder I bought back whenever I was in a woodshed by my house. This son of a bitch set me and my garage on fire many times. So, fire starter. Introduce you to that fellow. Sparky over here. Sparky, I love this dude. This thing right here, i uh, done a lot of overhead welding whenever I first got this fella. This for all of you welding folks out there that love the welding. I bet you got like a little dizzy if you just drink it when I just made that turn. This fellow right here is a Miller 252. Uh, it's an absolutely great welder. I'll try to get you zoomed in. Uh, done a lot of overhead welding on this uh, for some tables for Amazon. Uh, Back whenever I first started the shop and stuff, I couldn't support it off of uh, building uh, fitness equipment. So I started taking contracts from my uh, companies, and one of the companies I took contracts for them was Amazon. And I built thousands upon thousands of tables for Amazon. And I've done a lot of overhead welding. Welding. And the sparks, oh my goodness, I got scars on my back and stuff from a lot of the sparks. Just So we named him Sparky. You know, like every time I used him, I uh, had a new spark fly across the welding hood and land me on my head nugget or, or slide down the back bit and put a little nice nasty part on me there. Anyway, this one here is Smoke Eater. Guys, if you all, if anybody out there wants to be a home gamer or building stuff, building equipment, guys, I'll support the shit out of you, okay? I'm not competitive, I don't really, if you want to build stuff, build fitness equipment of your own, sell it online, whatever, I'll support the heck out of you and I'll help you as much as I can. Because in my opinion, it's not, my competition isn't like other companies, my competition is things like a couch, things like people that don't work out because if everybody in America understood what it was like to have a home gym and, and how great it actually was, there would be so much work that none of us could get sleep because we'd all be, be working. Anyway, if you do have a home gym, home garage, get you one of these. It'll save your lungs. It'll make your kids actually be able to have a dad down the line. That's pretty important for this guy anyway. Uh, so Reddit, folks. This one right here, this is a bubble bar. I probably have a patent, uh, we've got 12, I've been doing a lot of patent research and stuff. I hired a patent attorney for a while, $500 an hour, not worth it. Guys like, total nut job. Uh, got a patent uh, coming forth with on this. And this is, uh, uh, this is uh, way, way better than like Schedule 80 part. And hey, Coop, 
Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Dude, if you're out there, call me because I've got some really cool things, a collab video that I think that will blow the internet's mind. Anyway, uh, what I want to do since uh, I'll save it for him to call me if he calls. If you don't call me, that's okay too. Uh, this is way stronger than like what other bars are made out of. I've got a uh, working on doing a patent for that. But this is the bubble bar. And this is what the first thing that I'm going to give away on Reddit is a uh, bubble bar. And it's, uh, it's an axle bar, a thick grip bar. If you've never done, done thick grip training before, it helps your grip uh, kind of on the... Should I go into that or not? Yeah, I think I should. Okay. So there's a school of thought out there that says if you can't pick something up, you can't lift it. And I think that school of thought is probably right. If you can't physically reach down and grab some shit and pick some shit up, you can't lift it. Part of that is grip strength. If you're uh, working on an axle bar, it's a two inch bar, 1.90 actually, you need to be able to lift it. Lifting that, deadlifting it, doing like an overhead press or something like that, it's totally different. Curling, totally different. Uh, I enjoy that bar to bench with and squat with because I am, I've got wrist problems. So what I end up doing is uh, doing more open grip and that bar is thicker so it feels better in your hand. This bar is rockable. Uh, it's got 13 inches or 12 and a half inches of load sleeve. And it's got the bubble bar core inside, so it's got the square core. You're not going to break it for a lot of guys that do the strongman stuff. Don't worry about it. You know, you're not going to jack this thing up. This thing's good forever. And there you go. Now, that's what we're going to give away or I'm going to give away first. Uh, next month, what I'm going to do, and I meant that. Man, I wanted to have that thing painted. I thought about doing an Incredible Hulk red. I thought about doing uh, our Incredible Hulk green. I thought about doing a red, but I've been running behind in the shop a little bit. And to be honest, like projects uh, that I'm doing, that uh, video projects like this and stuff, are running a little bit behind getting customer orders out. Hope you guys understand. Uh, that thing is awesome. Another thing that I come up with uh, that I absolutely love is a active recovery device. I don't know, some of you guys may not have done active recovery before, but active recovery is the shit. And I say that with all respect to people who, who think otherwise, but for me, active recovery, I'm in my 40s now, uh, getting ready to hit mid 40s. And active recovery, I've got a buddy of mine, Ninja Master. I don't know if you guys, if anybody watches my YouTube, they'll know who that dude is. Active recovery is awesome. So this, uh, this is, let me spin you around there. Whoa, sorry. Active recovery, this thing is 15 pounds. Active recovery helps you be mobile, develop core strength, Tons of different movements that you can do with this, and uh, it's awesome. I mean, this is uh, this is a battle baton, and let me zoom in on the important parts. This is the glue that holds it together, right there, boys. Guys, if you can't, you're just like your body. Your weakest link is how strong the system is. If you uh, if you got weak welds. You know, some of you, some, I don't want to say you people, it makes me sound like I'm talking bad about people. But if you have weak welds in your equipment, you've got weak equipment. Uh, that's just a fact. Uh, it's, it's just like your body. The weakest link is how strong the system is. And if you've got weak welds in something, then you've got something that's weak. So... This is one of the battle batons. Uh, I may end up giving one of these away as well. Um, 
Here is uh, what I plan on giving away next month for the contest. This is a Rhino Curl Bar. I don't know if I can spin this around there where you guys can see that more. It's hard to understand. It's hard to see what it is. A Rhino Curl Bar is another original thing. It's a lever curl. So whenever I curl like this, whenever I do this, at the top, let me roll my sleeve up and be all manly and shit. Whenever I get to the top of my curl, when I raise my arm, my bicep will contract. So if I'm like this, I curl and I come up, my bicep will contract more. A rhino bar holds your arm parallel, puts force in this direction, okay, away from you, and forces you to come up. So it is a huge, huge thing. Uh, Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. It's probably been way longer than it should have been. Uh, Reddit guys, uh, seriously, win, lose, or draw. I know Reddit's a tough place sometimes. I've been around and around Reddit for a long time. Uh, I think the garage gym community is where it's at.